Alberta's government is making it easier for organizations to interact with our online services. This video will walk you through some of the new capabilities available through alberta.ca, account for organizations. Let's get started. Sign in options. To sign into your existing account, go to the alberta.ca, account for organizations page. Enter your email address and select continue to sign in. Our new sign in page will allow you to use your everyday username and password. Simply select your sign in option and follow the prompts on the screen to sign in. If you're not sure what email address is linked to your account, but you know your old username and password, you can sign in using this information. Simply click on having trouble signing in. Here you can use your old credentials. Once you're signed in, you will be able to see the email address linked to your account. You can use this in the future. Now that you're signed in, let's look at adding staff to your organization. Adding staff accounts. From your Manage My Account page, scroll down to My Staff Accounts. Then, select the organization that you would like to add staff to by clicking on the organization name. This will take you to your organization's directory page. Click on the Staff Accounts tab and click on Add New Staff Account. Begin by entering your staff member's email address and click Continue. If they already have an existing account, their contact information will be pre-populated. If their contact information does not appear, enter your staff member's contact information. This should be what they use to interact on behalf of your organization. Under the Roles tab, you'll have an option to make the staff member an administrator. An admin can sign in on behalf of an organization, has permissions to manage their own account details and the organization's details, and can manage staff accounts. In contrast, a staff account is only able to sign in on behalf of an organization and manage their own account details. We recommend an organization having at least two admins. To grant a staff member administrator access to your organization, check the admin box. Once you have confirmed the account details are correct, click Save. Your new staff account has now been successfully created. Your staff member will receive a confirmation email shortly. Approving staff account requests. One of the new features we've added is the ability for organization admins to receive a staff account request. You will receive an email notification when a staff account request is created. You will have 30 days to review the request. To start this process directly from your inbox, click on the review button and sign into your account. Once signed in, you will notice a notification bell beside your name. Click the bell to be taken to the staff accounts tab. You can also navigate here by clicking on your organization name under My Staff Accounts and select the Staff Accounts tab. Here you will be able to see any requests waiting your review. Simply click on View Request to see the requester's information. You will also find an option to make this requester an admin. Be sure to read the terms and conditions you are agreeing to. At the bottom of the page, you will see options to approve a request, reject a request, or reject a request and report it as suspicious. If you're not ready to make a decision, you can cancel to exit the screen. When you approve a request, you will receive a confirmation message and your new staff member will receive a confirmation email that their request has been approved. You will also be able to see your new staff member under Staff Accounts. Finally, let's take a look at how to maintain your organization's information. Updating your organization's information. To make updates to your organization's contact information, navigate over to the Workplace tab and click Edit Workplace. This will redirect you to a new screen where you will be able to edit your organization's contact information, including your mailing and physical addresses. You can also add additional contact information, such as a website URL. Click Save once complete. 
To make further updates to your organization's information, navigate to the Business Information tab and click Edit Business Information. This will redirect you to a new screen where you will be able to edit or add to your organization's business information. Click Save once complete. Thank you for walking through our new Alberta.ca account for organizations.